We're going to have a quick problem set four. Uh, uh, that's a chapter six question on um, normal distributions and probabilities, and uh, a chapter, uh, a few chapter 14 questions on control charts. Okay, let's get started. The first question, you are tasked with analyzing a large random sample of years a person lives in the region they were born in before moving away. Uh, you, you have a mean of 20 years. In other words, they live there, they're, they're born and at the age of 20 uh, they, they move away. That's, that's the mean and the standard deviation is 5 years. Uh, in this sample, uh, your skewness uh, is 0 0.06 and your kurtosis is minus uh, 0 0.27. And so let's, uh, the first question here, the part A is uh, table E2 uh, can be used to find the probabilities in a normal bell-shaped curve. Why is this okay? Uh, why is it okay to use uh, that table for this particular situation? If we look at table 2, E2, that is uh, standardized normal distribution. Uh, it it uh, is used to convert z-scores, z computed z-scores, into probabilities. Or uh, if you have a probability and you want to uh, find out what the corresponding z-score is. So that's what this So it's a normalized distribution. And uh, the answer to A is uh, since the skewness and skewness and kurtosis are both between minus 1 and plus 1, then this random sample here can be considered normal, and then we can use this table. Uh, let's see, for the second question here, uh, what is the probability that an individual spent 10 years or less in their region? And so, uh, uh, if we draw this on uh, the probability curve uh, using uh, if we draw the problem, if we draw this on the normal distribution, excuse me, uh, you, using the PowerPoint here, um, we can probably use this this one here. And if we zoom in on that, basically what you're going to do is is you're going to label these down here like this is 20 years, and this is uh, and if this is like one standard deviation here, that's probably a little bit more than one, but this can be like 25, and this can be like. 15, and uh, then you can adjust this thing. Either move that back and forth, which is probably not what you, what you want to do, but uh, you want to expand it out on the right, which shows which re shows then just this blue area on the left. In our case, we're looking for uh, 10, 10 years, and that's exactly two standard deviations. So we've got a two standard deviation here. So uh, two standard deviations uh, is exactly a z-score of minus two. That's the definition of z. Uh, and so we can just look up um, um, the probability of the z a z-score of minus two. Let's get back to our problem sheet here. Uh, we we can use we can also use the equation on page 108, which is this equation. You remember this back from chapter 3. It's it's when we first see z-scores, and uh, this is the equation where this is the, the sample mean, uh, this is the expected population mean, and this is the standard deviation, and this that computes the, the z-score. and uh, also, uh, as a general rule, if the z-score is, is, ends up being less than minus 3 or over plus 3, then that usually indicates an outlier, and that's what we will assume. So, um, we can plug in 10 to that equation, and we get a z-score of minus 2, and uh, 10 years is two standard deviations below the average of 20. We, in fact, you know, know that from the information that's given up here. And so, uh, two standard deviations below z uh, is, uh, if we look on the chart on page 521, we get a p-score of 0 0.0228. Let's confirm that. Let's go to page 521. 
and a z-score of minus 2 is right here and uh, so that's this 2.00 2 0 is 0 0.0228 and so that's the same as 2.28% uh, so uh, if we draw that on the curve it looks like this uh, this might be not exactly you know, right, but two standard deviation points to the left, uh, and so it's we're talking about the probability of being in this section down here, this little blue section, and that's 2.28%. Okay, question C. What is the probability that someone spent 36 or more years in their region? Well, if we look at that on the curve, we see that we're talking about over three standard deviations to the right. Okay, so uh, we ha we we can recall that that's that's already an outlier because it's actually more than three. Uh, but we can look up the, um, the z score. The z score is going to be exactly 3.2. Uh, even when you do the math here. And so uh, uh, if, if we look up the z-score for 3.2, we get, we have to go over to page 522, and we look up 3.2, and we get 0 0.99931. Okay, so uh, that's the probability of being in, in what would be this whole section back over here. See, you recall that uh, when we're talking about these z-scores, it's, it's the probability of being in this area. Well, we actually are looking for the probability of being in the alternate area here. Okay, so that's, that would be 1 minus the probability of being in this area. And so that, would, that calculates out to 1 minus 0.99931, and that comes out to 0.069%, which is very, very small. And so uh, the diagram would look something like this, and that should be a little blue area right down in there. Okay, what's next? Uh, question D. Would a person who spent 36 in their region be an outlier for this data set? Well, yes, we answered that question before. Uh, the rule, as a rule, a z-score greater than plus 3 indicates an outlier value. Uh, and this is, this is where it indicates that on page 108. Okay, E. To be in the smallest 10% of number of years lived in the region, the smallest 10%, what would be the corresponding number of years? And so this is a reverse problem where we have a probability of 10% down here. This it's we're talking about smallest 10%, so it's the smallest 10 percent down here and uh, what then is the corresponding uh, uh, p-value uh, well uh, we can just look that up it's um, 10 percent that looks like it's up here we're looking for 0 0.1 0 0.1 is um, I'd say this is 0 0.1 0 0.1 that's in the 0.08 So it's minus 1.28, 1.28. And so uh, the z is minus 1.28. And so uh, we can do the math. Uh, one, minus 1 1.28 times 5 years, because that's 5 years is one standard deviation. That equals minus 6.4 years uh, to the left of the mean. And that comes out to 13.6 years. So on the diagram, it would look like this. We've got 13.6 um, right here, about. And that's 1.28 standard deviations to the left of the mean. And so 10%, the blue area is 10%. OK, the last question here of the last part of numbers, chapter 6. Question one is, find two values 
equal distance from the mean such that 80% of all values fall between. Okay, well, when they say equal distance, uh, they mean the absolute middle 80% here. And if you think about it just for a second, uh, that would mean 10% on the left and 10% on the right here. And uh, we just did 10% on the left. So uh, we just need to um, basically do the right part of it. So uh, we have 13.6 here. Uh, it's it's going to be 1.28 standard deviations away from the mean in each direction, uh, which is 6.4. And so uh, on the left we have 13.6, and on the right we have 20 plus 6.4 which is going to be 26.4 years. So that's that's this point here and uh, we are looking for the two values equal distance and so that would be 13.6 and 26.4. Okay and that looks like that covers the first question.